today I want to talk about lockers, the world famous lockers, or they will be soon in the coming to a classroom near you. I saw Mark Folder in Derby years ago and I went into his classroom and he had this all about me board and it was divided into rectangles and each child had their own rectangle. And what he did was he put anything from home, any important pieces of work he put into their locker. Now, these are our lockers for this year, the brand new empty lockers, and we'll make a video when we start to fill them again, but I just wanted, I'd had a lot of questions about them, so I just wanted to make a quick video around what is a locker. So a locker is a display board divided up depending on how many children you've got. So we've only got three people in our locker, but it's nursery, this locker. So that one will be, if we get anybody extra, they'll get a locker straight away. So what you do is you, in your planning, identify, so it might be we're going to do put, put a painting in. So the first week, we'll get everybody to do a painting of themselves. That will go in the locker. When children start to write in reception, when they do plan, do and review, and if you've not seen that video, head over to schoolersfreadthehappiness.co.uk, check out, become a free member, check out the free training on plan, do and review. So in the writing, we would photocopy that, put that in the locker. We take pictures. We've got two-year-olds in this setting, so in here, we'll be using a lot of pictures and we'll be printing them off really large. We're not gonna do those horrible small pictures, we're gonna do really big A3 pictures, put them in the locker, okay? At the end of the week on a Friday, we would cut out a speech bubble. And for non-writers, we would ask them, what did you learn this week? For three-year-olds, what was your favorite part of the week? What did you do this week? And we would write in a sentence what they say. Now, non-talkers, you know, the little worders might go, I love giant, giant, love giant, right? So I would write, I liked the giant in the story, full stop. I would date it with the week. So for example, next week for us is week one. I put week one, autumn term, and the date. It goes into the locker on the side so that by the end of the seven weeks of the autumn term, there will be seven speech bubbles. In this room alone, we have reception, nursery, and two-year-olds. And so when an inspector comes in, or the senior leadership team, or anybody else for that matter who likes to come in, they will be able to see the differentiation really clearly without having to see my files, without having to go on my assessment documents. They will be able to look at the lockers and see, well, they're them are able, oh wow, look at their work. And they'll also be able to see progression because if you're doing writing, early writing, they will progress. If you're doing talking and you look at what the child says on the speech bubble, you'll see progression. It's an instant way to show progression within a classroom. If you're just in one room with 30 children like we were last year, we just had a more able board, a middle board, and a less able board. And when people came in, you could see the progression really clearly. And guess what? I also love them as an assessment tool because I can see who isn't doing what. I can see that, you know, Billy hasn't been painting this week. So I'll say, Billy, your locker hasn't got a painting in it. Susan, you need to do a piece of writing for your locker. And you can see whose locker hasn't got stuff or who does a lot of stuff and you can start to target and challenge them and get them doing all sorts of different things and it's right there in front of your eyes not on a device not in a folder not in a learning journal right there on the wall so give it a go it's great as well because you don't have to do any other displays boom